outside now for our third anniversary, and we're so happy to welcome Tom and Patty Dickinson from What's Pop and Kettle Corn. We were at Metro Eats doing our live show, Kel. Yes, we were. And we were having such a great time, and afterwards mm -hmm. we went over and you gave me the surprise uh, of a lifetime because you had seen my uh, campaign for Real Men Wear Pink and you said we need to help you. So Patty, tell us what you told me right after that live show. Well, that we had wanted to donate all the proceeds from that day, 100% of that to go towards your campaign. And then um, thinking about it more, we just decided what else could we do throughout the month to help you get to your goal. So we just kept donating as we were selling more of your uh, pink popcorn and cotton candy. And they did. And they did. And thank you for, for helping him out. Uh, I, I mean, it's great. And now. Well, see, here's the thing. They helped me exceed the goal. Yes. So they were so lovely to send me yes. an email to say, guess what? Let's help TJ. TJ. <laughs> I'm so honored. Thank you so much, guys. It means the world. And I mean, for both Jeremy and I, we both have uh, someone dear to us that has fought breast cancer. And um, it just goes above and beyond. So thank you so much. You're welcome. It's our pleasure. <laughs> and thank you for the beautiful product, because it yeah, is yeah. so lovely. And uh, you know, you got to. Do you want to tell flavors. us what you're doing for TJ? You're calling this the TJ Tower or yeah, the Teach so Tower? We're calling it the Teach Tower. <laughs> and so I love it. what this is is since we're coming down to the end, and we only have a few days left before the end of the month, uh, we're doing a little bit bigger product. So we've got a Teach Tower, which is three <laughs> different flavors of popcorn. There's original movie theater, and then the blend is the Chicago blend, which is caramel and cheddar mixed Ooh, together. Oh, is the good. blend for this? So. All proceeds go to TJ to your campaign, and Thank you. Uh, we're selling these for 15 apiece. And is what we're doing, and we're our goal is 100 before the end of the month. That's that, what we're trying oh, to do. Doable. That will get you to your goal. And that'll put you over. That'd be spectacular. Yeah. And you guys asked me what my favorites were, and. Uh, Kettle corn by far, and then you can't go wrong with the classic movie theater. And now I'm excited to have Chicago mixed in. I've never had a mixture. You know, I always got tins for Christmas, and it was always like cheddar and then careful. But yeah. I never thought to mix them, so now I'm excited to <laughs> have them together. That yeah. way you can eat more because you don't get too much sweet. It's a perfect blend, TJ. I've also yeah. never had a tower before, a three story tower. I, don't know. I mean, that's kind of unbelievable. There you go. Game day, right? <laughs> I'm curious too, you know, we saw you at Metro Eats. Is this your career? Is this a passion? Is this a hobby? How did you even get to start like, I'm going to pop popcorn, you know? <laughs> well, we were going through Home Depot one day and there were some kettle corn people outside and we love kettle corn and just yes. thought, you know, I think we could do this. <laughs> and it, the pandemic hit. We ordered the equipment and said, you know what, we're going to do it now anyways. And so we started the business back up in Washington before we moved down here to Springfield and uh, just kept going with the business. And that's how it started to take off. We're doing mostly farmers markets and events and things like that. And uh, for Tom, is is pretty much his main his main thing. It's what he does. I help out, obviously. Um, but then I have a bookkeeping business on the side as well. So. Well, I'll tell you, the smell will just draw you in. First of <laughs> yeah. all, it smells so good, doesn't it? Oh, I can, I can smell it halfway over here. And you guys said, are you able to pop some for us now? Can we see a live? Okay, um, here, I'll step over on this side. Who has to who has to be back there popping? I'm back there. I'll stand over here with you. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. This is great. So what we're going to pop now is our false spice, okay. which is our caramel-based uh, kettle corn with its uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and um, cloves. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so and I think that's what smells so good. Yeah. So it's kind of like the pumpkin pie spice that you yeah. put in pumpkin pie. I've always seen, like, seeing you guys make kettle corn. I've always thought it's so cool to see the the paddle. See how like so. How does it really all work? Essentially, oil. <laughs> oil. It's just oil. It's just a mixture. Oil. It's oil. popping it up with the hot oil. Two cups of oil, two cups of sugar, and four cups of corn. Two cups of oil, two cups of sugar, and four cups of corn. And then in a minute, you're going to want to step back. <laughs> yeah, because okay. you will get hit with flying Oh, wow. It's, it feels very good. The warmth the feels warmth good, feels too. Yes. yes. <laughs> Patty, do you come up with these recipes yourself? Um, for the most part, they're kind of standard through the industry. And then for special ones, we come up with different flavors and, and different ideas. I'm working on an eggnog right it's now so for Christmas. Yes, yeah. So... She's working on an eggnog. Yes. That popcorn. sounds amazing. Wow. Now, w w now, as far as eggnog, I'm not a connoisseur. Now, what would go in that? I mean. So you use a flavoring. It's completely okay. flavoring based. You, okay. you flavor your sugar, dry it out, and kind of work with it that way. Sounds like a process. Yeah. It yeah. Is. <laughs> a lot of work to make some popcorn. We've burned a lot of popcorn. <laughs> yes. Have you always been popcorn connoisseurs? Pretty much. I have been. I think. Um, 
especially the sweet stuff. I'm, I'm a, I like sugar, so. That's a, that's a good memory. Um, my dad mm -hmm. popped it every single night really? he made popcorn. Yes, not not the sweet kind, but yes, he did pop it. So yeah, I love it. Now, is this the way you guys make all of your corn yes. in this big old big old kettle? Yep, all of it's made in the kettle. Wow, that's awesome. It's just, yes. You think of a movie theater, you know, how it just kind of pops out of the little, like, little contraption, little popcorn machine. I guess it's just on a much larger scale, right? Right. right. <laughs> and then we use the special popcorn. We use the uh, mushroom popcorn, which is the large popcorn that pops up into a, more of a brain looking you know, right. I've always noticed Sorry. that when you've gotten kettle corn, maybe at, at an amusement park or somewhere, it does yeah. look different than the classic popcorn you would get like at a movie. So I never knew what, yeah, that's why called or how. Butterfly. That's called butterfly popcorn. And okay. it, it just pops differently. It, this holds up better to the kettle. It doesn't break as much. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, we may have to see this when we get back. Okay. Well, we'll see it when we get back. All right. We'll be back right after this. Gosh. I hear it popping. It's popping. It's popping. Oh, wow. I hear it.